Alright, finger tapping. So, make sure you keep holding the pick while you've practiced your finger tapping. You're going to be using your middle finger to do the tap. So, just as we pull off by pulling our fingers off the string and in towards the hand, that is the same idea you're going to do with your tapping finger. So, do not push it away. You're going to pull it in towards your hand. You're going to use your palm to mute the lower strings, and you want to keep the motion in your finger as much as possible, not your wrist. All right, here is the first exercise. Concentrate on having a nice, even tap, pull, tap, pull, tap, pull, tap, pull. So this way you have a nice, accurate sound. Four times each bar. Next tapping exercise, you are going to do a tap, pull off, hammer on. You want a nice, even triplet feel. Triplet means three notes a beat. So think of it as like a one, two, three, one, two, three. Tap, pull, hammer, tap, pull, hammer. So four times each bar. Alright, rhythm. So, what needs to be kept in mind is your hand and foot need to be synced up. Pretend there is a string attached to your hand from your foot. So, this way the hand comes up, the foot comes up, and so on. So, you have to keep it going back and forth the whole time in order for this to be done smooth. So if you need to, just tap and say what the count is until that becomes second nature. And then keep saying it while you play it, when you apply the chords. All right, so here's the first thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, and, and four. Puppets. 
So we also discussed when you were working with what we already did. You gotta lift those fingers up. You don't want to hear two notes ringing out together at the same time. So the harmony we started with, uh, you want to look at for the first bar, you have the dash marks or the slashes. So you're going to look at the guitar note to the left. So the guitar note to the left of the slash. And after that, it's all going to be the notes on the bottom portion. So we have an E minor arpeggio to start with, or E minor triad. So the 17, 19, 20, 17. 17, 19, 20, 17. And then we can do a D major triad. We have the uh, 22, 19, roll your finger down to 19 on the G. And then we move our hand over two frets and do the same shape because now it is a C major arpeggio. 20, 17, 17. So the harmony part for this is... So we need to get that down first before we do the rest. Alright, let me know if you've got any questions. Uh, yes, if you can put together a recording of everything for this song and you want to send it off to me, that is fine. I will take a listen and see how it's going. All right, we'll see you next time.